And welcome back to the stream, everybody, where we are going to start Sly 2, Band of Thieves. Uh, my favorite game in the series. I don't know about you, but it is for me. And uh, I, I just like the aspects that they brought in. I don't... Three's okay, but two is really the cream of the crop. So thank you for tuning in. Thank you for showing your support, however it may be, be it through the Jet Press or Ebony Bird, whatever it is. Just make sure everything's all okay on Twitch really quick. Yes, it is. I don't know what that little technical hiccup was, but we're back. See, this is part of the problems with this port, too, is they're supposed to be in shadows right now. Like, yeah, you aren't supposed to be able to see Sly right now, but... And see those little bars on the side? Yeah, I don't know how... I don't know how, what the, uh... I don't know what that is. Breaker Alpha Foxtrot, this is the wizard. Do you read me, sitting duck? This is Peking Duck. I hear you, Blizzard. No, Sly, I'm the wizard. I'm the and wizard. Sitting duck. I read you loud and clear, Lizard. No, I, I'm... Forget it, you're not taking this seriously. Yeah, I'm not. Look, Bentley, I know this is your first time out in the field, but you've got to loosen up. If we're going to get to those clockwork parts, I need so, yeah, to... The game to revolves around the clockwork so parts. Talk. What's your status? Well, I've established myself in the basement, and I'm pretty sure I can rewire the service elevator if you can power it up from that security station. Hang tough, pal. It might take some time, but I'll figure out a way to get up there. Yeah, I'm going to be just checking the, uh the sound a little bit sometimes just because Sly 1 was a very loud game with old like audio mixing so I had to really jack the volume down I don't know if 2 is going to be like that Always had a soft spot for Bentley. In these games. Spotlights are offline. There goes the laser security system. I'm working on the security gate. Presto, all clear. Thanks, pal. For your first time out, you did pretty well. Oh, this operation is far from complete. Now that the lasers and spotlights are offline, Furry should be moving into position for your rendezvous. I'll stay here and provide computer support while you go on ahead. Yeah, you gotta hold the sprint. There, there's a couple changes. Oh, we got some Fiendish 5 references. That's like it, the only Fiendish 5 stuff you'll see in this game. I don't know why they're here. Also, I don't know why that's there. What the fuck? <laughs> what are some of these? I never really looked in depth. It's this away. Yep. Uh, this is the excessive tutorials in this game. Unfortunately, the route through the garden is filled with guards. No problem. I'll just take the long way around. If memory serves, you need to jump and hit the circle button to run 
out along ropes. Yeah, I think it's okay now. I'll probably figure out later and <laughs> later that I need to amp it up a little bit, but give me a break here. I'm trying. It's Sunday night, you know? Can I see him from the top? Let me see. Kept at a safe distance. Good, good. The Thunderflop knows neither friend nor foe, only destruction. Yeah, could you maybe channel some of that raw energy into the security gate? Of course. It is nothing before the Murray. Man, this would have been helpful about ten times in the last game. <laughs> they had this kind of strength. Another barrier stands before you. Fear not, I shall bend it like the truth. <laughs> I love that line. I shall bend it like the truth. Solid work, Murray. You're really in the zone. My hulking frame is too much for that puny rope. You go ahead and unlock the doors from the inside. I'll be waiting in the hallway to help you carry out the clockwork parts. I don't get it, Sly. The clockwork part should be here. This is all wrong. We need to pull the plug on this operation right now. Freeze, Cooper. <laughs> Love how different the voice is. Beautiful and unpredictable as ever. Whereas you crooks are so predictable. You always return to the scene of the crime. Crime? I haven't stolen anything. Yet. Oh, really? Then who broke in last night and made Man, I just noticed how quickly the dialogue, like, you how quickly they start talking someone after someone else stops. The parts? Don't play dumb with me. It might not have been him, Carmelita. The method of entry in God Okay, Neela. All right. This being a claw gang job. I got my eye on you, Neela. Constable Neela, I allowed you to sit in on this stakeout as a favor to the Contessa. I really don't need any help. I'm too busy no, doing exposition right. over here. Look at the facts. Facts? Sly Cooper is right here. I caught him red-handed. I'm just saying that there are other criminals in the world other than... Sly Cooper! After him! Hey, come back here, Ringtail! Hey, there's the Panda King statue. And one of Raleigh's statues. Shake a leg, Murray. It's time to go. Stop! Thief! This wasn't part of the playout. Yeah, well, this is where things get fun. Freeze! This is getting a little hot. You guys go warm up the van. I'll keep Carmelita busy. You're all going to jail. Pick me up at the rendezvous. <laughs> No, not the Egyptian police. You can't run forever. This is very similar to like Jack in that Jack and Daxter in that like the change between game one and the rest of the series is so jarring. But you can tell immediately it's for the better. It's just kind of funny. Jump in the back. Oh, there we go. I'll find you, Cooper. Really? Was that shot necessary? She's really quite lovely when she's angry. Was that really? Was it really sucker punch? Just a slip of the tongue, or an intentional clue? Either way, 
It's our only lead. On That's just preposterous. Clockwork. He was consumed with jealousy for the Cooper clan's thieving reputation. Is it inappropriate to refer to him as a monster? No, not at all. What kind of person stays alive for hundreds of years with the express intention of wiping out a rival's family line? Imagine the hatred fueling that first decision to replace his mortal body with soulless machinery. Ultimately, it did the trick. Clockwork lived on. Such a good villain. He caught up with my parents, and I wound up in an orphanage. It's there that I met my pals, Bentley, the brains of our outfit, and Murray, the brawn. Put on pants, Murray. It turned out to be all the family I needed. Two years ago, I thought I'd finished it. How naive to think I could so easily put an end to that kind of hatred. And now he's back. In pieces, sure, but the threat is real. Does the Claw Gang even realize what they've stolen? I don't know what's in my future, but I won't let it be a repeat of my past. It's actually crazy how much Clockwork carries this whole villain's rogues gallery here. Well, let's see Dimitri. Over in how you how you say Paris. I had to call in a few favors to get the goods on the Claw Gang's local operator. Dimitri, a sort of underworld celebrity, equally at home in high-class art circles and shady back-alley crimes. He was once a passionate young art student who worked hard to develop his own visionary style. See, that looks like shit. Unfortunately, the art world wasn't quite ready for his kinetic aesthetic. So he gave them what they wanted, and started forging old masterpieces. His way of punishing those with bad taste. <laughs> Why is he so crazy there when he's forging? Dimitri now runs a new oh, on the west side. The thumpy music, colorful light shows, and a hint of danger lure in chic young patrons from far and wide. Yeah, we'll hear more of the song. And it's here, hidden somewhere, where we'll find the clockwork tail feathers. What Dimitri plans to do with the clockwork part is beyond me. But those plans end tonight. And he got really screwed with the whole clockwork part dividing the tail feathers? See, it's called the Black Chateau. There's never a chateau here, there's a nightclub. Man, it's false advertising. So yeah, the, the bottles are back. They're in an overworld. And once you collect them all, you get like a power-up that you can use. Again, they're not like super useful, but I'm just gonna get them. I'm just gonna get them anyway. See, there's like, there's a store and you gotta pickpocket for coins. That's, that's how it works. Pleasure robbing this nightclub. I share in your enthusiasm, but the theater did it say formidable? What do you have in mind? I'm the formidable theater? Like, he controls well in 3D, which... Not always the case. Oh. 
view is always better from the rooftops. So yeah, L3 pings it. Okay, I just I'm missing that sound from the last game. From three. That familiar sound. So yeah, you pickpocket, you get a comb. A diamond encrusted comb. That makes no sense to carry around. Sly, I need you to hack into the and then you just sell it for some extra cash. We'll have access to his database. How am I supposed to do that? To start, you'll need to get to the top of that tower. Then reposition the satellite dish to point at my safe house antenna. If you want to climb on stuff, jump and hit the circle button to grab hold. Try climbing up that pipe. Right. Jump and press the circle button to climb pipes. I'm on it. I, I said this in the last stream too. I'm just amazed that there's like a circle button and an analog stick that you have to press. And it's in writing too, because there's that one point where it's like, you know, the the Thieves Raccoonus says like leapeth lively and presseth the button. That little tinking sound will drive you mad by the end of this. The enemies take like maybe like two, three, like the rooftop guard, the smaller ones die maybe like three hits. They can see it from a little farther away, but then the flashlight guards take like six, seven hits unless you sneak up on them. So, you know, combat in this game is kind of awful. Even when you're Murray, who's like the combat guy. Okay, only one Bentley, I don't even want to... <laughs> and also, yeah, if you run, they can hear you. And guards can be alerted. And walking it doesn't. You can sneak up with that. Keep thinking it's R3, but it's not. Square, old square, spin. Boom, 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 boom. work. So, where do we go from here? Your next job is to break into the nightclub and take some reconnaissance photos of the clockwork tail feathers. To get inside, you'll have to sneak through an old wine cellar beneath town. Okay, I'll head out for the cellar. So, like right now, where's that noise? Oh, there we go. It's like the phrase. Is it, oh, it's the telltale heart where he he can't. Right, that's the right one. Telltale heart. Where he hears the noise and he starts going crazy. Good to see you, little buddy. I guess the way through the wine cellar is guarded by those rats. Bentley thought you might like some help clearing them out. Sounds is like that a, is that a megaphone or a billy club? Back to back. Totally. Outnumbered. Fighting impossible odds. It's perfect. What do you mean All impossible right, odds? It's like three on two. Four. Fear the Murray. It's four on two. Why are you even here, Murray? To be perfectly honest. Oh. Hold on, Sly. Let me lower those bars for you. Yeah, if you hit these guys and you're like right near them, then they just kind of smack you back a little bit. Double jump. Hit the X button to jump, then while in the air, press it again to get some extra air time. <sighs> Looks like you're on your own from here. Eh, I'm used to it. Thanks for the help. Anytime, partner. Sly, 
In order to get past these lasers, you need to crawl under that table. To do that, so they're powerful the enough to fry Sly, but not powerful enough to these break through a table. Are too tough to fight head on. Crawl under the tables to sneak around him. They kept that glass breaking sound from Sly 1. And the swinging. They used a lot of Sly 1 sounds. This old wine cellar. This air vent leads into Dimitri's nightclub. Nightclub? Hit the circle button to crawl inside. In order to shut down those yellow lasers, you'll need to take out that guard. Way ahead of you. Way ahead of you, Ben. Then the square button to slam and finish him off. Got that? The triangle button, then the square button. That sneak attack slam. Oh, this one's actually up there. Mafia warthogs. You didn't see me. Can't see me. Master Thief. This guy's got some pickpocketing stuff. For such an incremental, uh, incremental, instrumental part of the game, they don't introduce it to you until you're like a couple missions in and only Sly can do it. Which seems weird to me. Okay, recon photo time. The heart of Dimitri's operation. Why can't I take the pictures? And take some reconnaissance photos. Tap the R3 button. You know, I guess I gotta wait. Right analog stick to bring up your I don't know. It's already outfitted with a spy. Hope it's not a bug. Slide. Use the right analog stick to zoom in and out on photo target. Tap the R1 button to take a picture. Okay, Brentley. I know not take a picture. Well, did you see that? Watch, look how it loads in. Like, see that top right there on the top of that generator? There, see there? That, that wasn't there when I was zoomed out. Oh, it's inverted. It's not inverted? What do you mean? It's not, what do you mean? Up. It is inverted. It's inverted vertically. Whatever, I'll just put up with it. That generator seems to be Please do not blow up the generator management. This guy. For kind of a lame sounding villain and looking villain, like, pretty memorable. That's our target, Dimitri, professional lounge lizard and international fortune. That should do it, Sly. Head back to the safe house and we'll cook up a plan of attack. Ah, uh, the slideshows. Remember slideshows? The recon photos are a grim reminder of what the modern thief is up against. Spotlights, stepped up patrols, the sum of it all renders a direct assault impossible. To solve this puzzle, I'm going to need some more intelligence. First, replace this bugged painting with one Dimitri has in his office. Once in place, 
We should be able to listen in on his communications. Second, if you see the boss, tail him. We might learn something from studying his movements. Once we've got a proper understanding of the operation, those clockwork tail feathers are as good as ours. I miss slideshows, like those old overhead projectors. Like, I remember in school, like, that's how... That's how I was taught. Like, they'd have those old, like, the see-through ones. Where you could, like, write on it in marker. We got Follow Dimitri, and we got Bug the Office. Click it to look for your binoculars. They'll be useful for finding the new job starts I've placed around town. Plus, they'll let you read the job title. Oh, follow Dimitri because you get to hear the song. So yeah, we're gonna do it for for musical purposes, for culture, for theater. I just intercepted an email from Dimitri. He's ordered his guards to. Whoa, Sly! What happened to your head? The coast is clear. Coast is clear for what? <laughs> Look at it. Ring the bell what the hell? How's he doing that? I don't think I've ever seen that before. Find the bottles isn't like crazy. Like in the later levels, it's a pain in the ass, but like early on, it's pretty, pretty intuitive. For some reason, he's the only villain who gets that title card. Oh, here's the song! Here's the song! Such a catchy beat. What's he saying? Make art, breathe art? <laughs> if this beat was in a dance club, you would not think twice. Imagine if people went around doing this, just like chatting and saying random things. You just walked around going, make art, be art. It had no right to go this hard, but it did. You won't be able to see what Demetri is doing from up on that water tower. Go down for a closer view. Give me a second. Oh crap. Give me a second. Oh crap. You almost saw me. Who's got the juice? Totally normal speech pattern. Good job tailing him, Sly. He had no idea you were watching while he typed in that secret code. Doesn't seem like the sharpest tool in the shed, this guy. Looks like that door like leads to the nightclub's aqua pump. This might be useful for the ice. It's a Murray. Yeah, let's do the Murray job. I'll be Murray, yeah, why not? <laughs> Look how perked up he gets. 
Can I? I forgot you could sneak in this game with Murray. Just find somewhere sneakable. Oh, like watch. <laughs> I like how they made him able to sneak and not able to pickpocket. machine to pick up a block of ice then press the square button to throw the block at the power box hit the circle button to pick stuff up and the square button to throw exactly that's just other shit to barrels you're strong Murray try picking up other stuff in the room <laughs> You can't run with this until you get like a late game power up. I think it's like the f there's eight there's eight stages in this. I think it's like the fifth. Toss the rats into that open water main and plug up those pipes. I think they envisioned this being a little harder than it was. That did it, Murray. With the aqua pump out of commission. Would that take like a minute? Forced to root water through the old pipe tower. Those fools, they're playing right into our hands. <laughs> With the R's backwards. Come on, man. Wait, I thought I... Okay, never mind. Could have sworn I had triangle. Okay, that's clearly Sly. How does he, how would he not tell the difference? Nice. So, we'll be able to listen in on his conversations. Yes, I thought things might go more smoothly with an ear on the inside. Just be careful with the fine art. Take any damage and the painting's ruined. You tell me what to do, Bentley. Maybe I want to damage it. You ever thought about that? Mostly they're in intuitive places. There's not too much like in the middle of nowhere stuff. Where you're like, how would I be expected to find that? speak French. I don't know. Vulgaire? I, I think I know what that means. Oh. 
I speak German, passingly. Like, I took it in high school and college, and... Just so I don't lose the language, what I do is I go on Build, which is like a German newspaper. And I go to the American sports section, and I try to, like, read an article a day. So that way, like, if there's... Like something, a word I don't know, or a grammar thing I don't know, I can at least, I at least know what happened, so I know the context. And I can just figure it out from there. Long. Yes! Janitor rats. That's alright. I never was one for the direct approach. Swell. Because the indirect approach is way I remember hearing like a metal version of this too on guitar that on YouTube that actually was pretty good. Which I'm normally skeptical about because most of the time if you hear anything like metal version, it's normally some of the worst stuff you're ever gonna see in your life. Like I remember there was a band called um I Prevail who were big on, like, Sirius XM and stuff like that. And I like Sirius XM, like, you know, Ozzy, Boneyard, and Liquid Metal, and Octane, and shit like that. Faction, I think, was one of them. But they have some bands that, like, I just, that they keep trying to promote that I'm just not a big fan of, and one of them was I Prevail. And they did a cover of Blank Space by Taylor Swift that was, like, metalized. Not very good. Like, a metal cover can be okay, but if you see metal version... Very often, it's going to stink. High five. Picking up what I'm throwing down? So many good quotable lines. Oh, there's the safe, so there you go. Nice work, Sly. The bug's in position. If you manage to get the original painting back to me in one piece, I can sell it through my internet connection. Internet and connection? Make a ton of coins. So yeah, there's also like art stuff where it's like if you get it back to the safe house, you get a bunch of coins. Okay, fellas, I've constructed a plan to get at the clockwork tail feathers, but we'll need to pull off a few more jobs to set things up for the heist. First, Sly will have to pick a few pockets in the theater so that we'll have access to the Spotlight Control Center. Once that's accomplished, we'll be able to turn off all the security around the printing press. We'll need your muscle, Murray, to take out all the exterior alarm horns. We don't want anything to alert the guards while we pull out the big job. And finally, we'll need to get into the discotheque to drop this mirror ball. The discotheque? Trust me, it's all part of the plan. Let's do Murray first. I'm gonna do Murray. I'm gonna do. I think you have to do a Sly mission before the Bentley one. I think it's Neela. I'm gonna do that. So it's the Bentley one, and then I'm gonna do the pickpocketing. Feel my wrath. 
Oh, okay. Where are you where are you all coming from? Kinda like the overworld music too, this little piano. And violin, I think. Yeah, it's a violin. There's some bottles here, too. Maybe not. Oh, there's one up there. Can I get to that as Murray? I don't even think I can. I'm at least gonna try. Oh, yeah, I can. I just can't perch. Okay. That fist of flame power up if you do it, it like will insta kill an enemy. I get that soon. That's actually got some utility. time for some exploring. See, like, the, like, the music is so different from one, too. Like, I, I don't know... I don't know which I like better. Like, they're both good. They're just both so different. One's more... You know, earwormy, and one's more atmospheric. It's like, okay, there. We just heard cat meows. It, and then Neil is like a cat or a tiger, but also a human. My tail. Please, I led you here. So that claw gang slip was a clue. Why are you helping me out? I'm not as black and white as Carmelita. I know what a menace those clockwork parts are, and I don't want the likes of the Claw Gang putting them to use. So what? It takes a thief to catch a thief? Something like that. But if I'm going to trust you in this case, I need to know that you can keep up. Literally. Literally? Don't fall behind. Fly, pull down the R1 button to run. You'll need it to keep up with Constable. Yeah, 
You'll find out a little later, Neela. No, without spoiling, I will say, keep an eye on Neela. There's some twists. Okay, Neela. And your insta-kill whip. Well, in fact, if you hit her, it, it restarts the mission. Go! Where are you going? Run! heard that stock cat scream sound effect in god knows how many movies and tv shows well done sly we should work well together glad you approved now legally i can't enter dimitri's nightclub without a warrant but i happen to have obtained the key to his back door which a person like yourself can use however he pleases. Oh, we are absolutely going to work well together. That job inside the disco will require my demolition skills. Head on back to the safe house. I should be all geared up for the field by the time you arrive. <laughs> the comic onomatopoeia of Zoink. Ah, how many of these are there? Oh yeah, the ones with the megaphones will call other guards. Just get them all. If you can get this piece of fine art back to the safe house in one piece, we can sell it on SeatNet for a ton of coins. I don't hear it. I don't hear it anymore. So close, I just want to get the rest of the bottles. And you really gotta hear anything. This is going to drive me crazy, because this map is pretty small. It's going to be like one little nook and cranny I have it. You know what I'm going to do? Hold on, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go... Turn that music volume down. Okay, that didn't seem to do anything. 
Did I not? What did I not do right? That's better. Calm and serene. Oh, oh! Not what I wanted. Not what I wanted. Not what I wanted. No! Oh. Is it lost forever now? Oh no, it isn't. Okay, it's right back here. That. There you go. That smoke bomb is the most overpowered gadget because, like, you could use it right near somebody and they'll just forget you're there. I'll turn the music back on once I find all the bottles. Here. It's, it's really driving me nuts now. Only two left. I don't hear anything over here. You gotta just, it's very subtle. Well, ding, 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 ding. That's what I'm listening for. Hear something. There's one. There's both of them. Right? Oh, it's over here. It's not even a good power up on this level. That's better. Nice job there, lads. It took some higher level math, but I believe the code to Dimitri's vault is 231. You've gotten the knockout dive boom. Thank you. 
That's what you get. It's the it's the dive move from the first one, except it's not a one hit knockout, so it's not as important or useful. Let's just go get that trigger bomb. That way everybody's got something. What the fuck? I did what? Did I buy it? What the hell? So yeah, Bentley's main gimmick is you would you'll shoot enemies with these sleep darts, and then you drop a bomb on them and freaking blow them to smithereens. That is sadistic, Bentley. Crossbow actually does like barely any damage in melee, so that's really the only way to do it. a nice little character arc in this game, by the way. Kind of funky. That verse, that beat. What I'm talking about. Intro to Bentley level. Wow, Bentley. We felt that all the way back here at the safe house. And you were right. The peacock sign had half of its bolts pop off on impact. I'm probably just gonna do Dimitri's level and then, then just call it a night pretty early. Get out of here. Oh, 
Oh, that's the office from before with the painting. Oh, I never noticed that. Forgetting I don't have the paraglide. That as a quality of life thing, that is impossible to replace. Did that not take? Oh crud. Here, do I? Ah, ah, ooh. Now we can do some sneaking and some thieving. Those fans are spinning way too fast to walk on. They can be slowed down from this control panel, but you'll have to do a lot of pickpocketing to get at it. The guards are carrying special fragile keys that will be destroyed if you attack. Make sure you pickpocket their keys before you take those thugs out. To pickpocket guards, well, I remember why I hated this level, now, because all right, see how we, the whole point is you have to slow them down. Like, slow down, he's like, oh, they're going too fast to walk on. You don't actually walk on them. You, like, jump and circle and grab onto the... What's suspending it? Keep picking his pocket. Sometimes you have to dig a little. I gotta dig into his butt? Okay. Just digging. Doing some digging. Just guys being dudes and digging. Never change, Dimitri. I find it funny that he's in Thieves in Time. Like, basically, that he doesn't go back in time. He watches the Thievius Raccoonus, which is kind of weird to give it to a guy who was a hardened criminal, but they do that. And he doesn't talk. Like, he, they say, you know, they tell you what he said, but he doesn't have a voice in it. Seems weird. That's the whole point is his voice. Also, that guy was just watching TV. That's what, that's what you get for slacking on the job. This, this is a serious job. People would kill for this job. You have to kill at this job. Turn around. I want 
one of you. There you go. Ah. Ooh. A lot of security for, for something that you could it's, it's one button how fast do you want the fan to spin you need six armed thugs it's like watch they go oh he's spinning too fast to walk on oh. no walking Dimitri's sure to send someone out to get the repair truck. Slot, you'll pickpocket the truck keys off this guy once he shows up. Then hand them off to me and Murray in the plaza. We'll go steal the truck while you climb to the top of the nightclub's peacock side. When you're in position, Murray will fire the truck's winch line up to you and will use it to pull down the side. If my calculations are correct, the impact should create an entrance to the printing press room. Then, Sly, you jump in, grab the clockwork tail feathers, and we all get the heck out of here. Ready, break. Oh, you're gonna be Bentley. They never tell you like who has a job available. At least they do that in in three. Come on, chum. Let's get to that water. Oh yeah, you need. All right, there you go. Come on, chum. This looks unsafe. What the? F it, it was perfect. It was right in the center. Oh, you gotta go just under. Whoa, that was a weird transition. I need to focus. Which valves do I turn to divert water pressure? I think you just turn all of them. To change the flow of water through a valve. I should press the circle button. Success! Yep. Sly, the water pressure to the fountain should be disabled. It's off all right. They're already sending out the repair guy to fix it up. Take lock in the keys to his repair truck without being seen. I like this song too.
It's all you. Let's head out for the repair truck. I'll take the wheel. I know how to drive a stick ship. Mario, you look bigger than that car. I need to get in position on top of the nightclub's peacock sign for phase three. I, I feel like, wait, I gotta go up. It's this way, right? One of those ways. Oh, I gotta do this. Makes sense. So look how much better his model looks. Even if the animations are similar. Oh, I remember Murray says like funny things when you miss it. That's what I was waiting for. Was, oh, cupcakes. Hooks on. Pull away. Sly, the guards are on to us. Protect the truck. Leave the truck alone. Real subtle, Bentley. Okay, you jump in, grab the clockwork tail feathers, and we're out of here. Boss fight time. Bosses are mixed in this game, I feel like. This one's okay. So Raccoonus do this. Raccoonus do this. bumming my house up and bringing me down. So very uncool. Why can't you let birds and bees be free, bro? Listen to me. Bro? You have no idea what you're playing with. It'll bring more than your house down. Look, bro. I think you are a top cowboy. A man with taste, style, vision, a connoisseur of finer things. Like me. Look, I'm sure that two cats in a bag like us can work something out. Eh? We smooth. Look, speed the money. You like the money. You can take all you want. I can. No deal. You and the rest of the clogging have to be stopped. Clockwork will never again see the light of day. Just hand over the tail feathers and we can. What is this with clocks, bro? <laughs> have you clocks, no bro? Are you hearing what I mean to you? You think you have juice? Don't show me a little mind when talking about such big things. You think you can swing the bat? Show your bling and let me shine you. I have no idea what you're saying. And your suit sucks. <laughs> no! Let's dance! Oh, so he's, he's the Flash and he can teleport. And shoot lightning. He's just Quicksilver all of a sudden. Oh, wow. I don't know how much damage. 
Oh my god. That's part of what it is. The camera is very unruly. in operation it's past tense i'm doing you a favor what kind of thief prints money there's no honor in that you cracker box <laughs> <laughs> he said that with his chest Gang and I and so look how big they were there. The look how small they are on the and Dimitri's counterfeiting operation in ruin. Due to the untimely arrival of Carmelita, my escape got a little tricky. Angry at having just missed me, she took it out on Dimitri. Shutting down the nightclub and throwing the frustrated forger behind bars. The gang and I headed out of town for a week in Monaco. I figured the team had earned themselves a well-deserved break. Okay, I think I'll pick this up with Rajan, who's the second Claw Gang villain. Uh, I'll pick that up next stream. As always, thank you guys for tuning in. Check out Ebony Bird and the Jeff Price Podcast, and I'll see you guys in the next video.